वॉट इज एप माई स्टेज पीपल दिस इज वेलकम बैक टू चैनल दिस इज दी Amazon's best budget winter wear haul whatever the essentials you need for this winter season and here you go with the very first option i picked from amazon this is a budget leather jacket means this particular company they do have in biker format or the other formats as well but i went with more of an jacket or if i have to say an over shirt kind of a format when it comes to leather jacket this is of course a pu leather this one i got at a price point of 1600 to somewhere between 1800 as you guys know the prices are dynamic and they keep on changing so what exactly i liked i like the fit of this jacket in specific i went with the size medium and it fits really really well as i mentioned it's more like a over shirt it gives that vibe but not just that here if you can see inside they have this nice smooth fur kind of a lining i'm not sure that how durable this would be but it's pleasant to your skin in case if you're using a t-shirt and half of your arms would be exposed this certainly gives a pleasant feeling sometimes this gets picked up uh, by your t-shirt whatever the base layer you are wearing that is also something you need to consider other than that uh, with the overshirt vibe you do have this two zippers going on even though it's not a biker jacket you do get this zippers at the end of the sleeves just like how a biker leather jacket would be overall the pu quality here when it comes to the polyurethane or a fox leather whatever that can be called this is fine you don't get that supremely premium pu quality just like a zara jacket zara biker jacket which you have seen uh, in my zara jacket haul but certainly for the price point what you're paying you're just getting a little bit more than that so i don't have any disqualifiers except for minor minor disqualifier that's the area generally brands tend to actually neglect or maybe compromise on the quality that is the zippers the zippers are not as smooth as i would like them to be zara jacket zippers are like very very smooth of course the jacket price is 6500 rupees but here the zippers are not smooth that's something you need to consider now let's talk about the essential number 2 specifically for the top wear it's a denim jacket but it's not a blue denim jacket surprisingly because i have covered blue denim jackets in different videos and i assume that you must be having one or another top wear when it comes to blue or black color so this is something which is refreshing it's more like a beige or maybe brown color or somewhere between that it's a neutral color and if you are using a darker base or if you are using a lighter base it can gel really really well that's why i have included this in cash denim full sleeve denim jacket which i got at a price point of 800 to 900 rupees in cash denim jackets i really love because the quality is great and the price point is less than 1000 rupees and they fit really really well i went with the size medium it fits well it's more like a slim to regular fit and length is also fine when it comes to the overall thickness that is something you need to consider for the in cash denim jacket the material is not as thick as you would like that to be in case for light winters this more than enough and that too it's a top wear right anyway you're going to use a base layer and also do not have any elastin composition to it so you don't find any stretch with the incas denim jackets other than that the basic attributes of a normal denim jacket be it the double pockets and everything stays the same for a price point of 800 rupees you can't beat this in terms of the quality and also in terms of the colors as well not just this particular color in case if you're not a fan of this color there are multiple colors to choose from at this particular price point having said that why not get started with the third jacket third you must be thinking bomber jacket right i got a hybrid so here you go with the piece number 3 it's a hybrid bomber jacket in this blue and olive green again two of the neutral colors and blue color the blue portion of this particular jacket is a denim jacket with this orange or maybe i would say beige color stitchings going on across so it's a top stitching kind of a format and top stitching is something which is like trending in 2022 means be jeans or something just adding a contrast stitching that's what this top contrast stitching or whatever the term could be but the rest of the jacket is a proper bomber jacket particularly the sleeves so it have the bomber jacket material the nylon one i mean uh, bomber jackets do come in other materials as well but here the material they have used is a nylon or a polyester kind of a material and they do have this pockets going on and also when it comes to the end of the sleeves just the cuffs like a bomber jacket that's what the color combination makes it attractive and it is from jack and jones i got this in a size of medium even though it's priced at 6000 rupees as this was released uh, Five to six months back, right now it's discounted at a price point of two thousand three hundred to two thousand five hundred, somewhere in between that. I got this at that particular price point. I really like this because the denim jacket quality is great, and you do get this vibe of the bomber jacket. And with this particular color combinations going on, it can look really, really great. But there is something which you need to consider as well when you are using this, as you already have two colors in your top wear. Make sure that you don't add too many colors in your base outfit. 
means you can go for one base outfit be it a white color or be it a black color t-shirt as well as a trouser or you can actually use two to the max just stick with one if possible not to the max don't go with more than three colors in one specific outfit and the two and top player already have two colors even though these are neutral but still try sticking to one that actually limits the number of outfits you can pair with this particular jacket this is not a first or second denim jacket if you want to invest this might be the third or fourth option or in case if you want one single jacket which can look both like a denim and bomber jacket this might be something you can consider Having said that, we are done with the jackets. I have two more options when it comes to sweatshirt as well as hoodies. Let's talk about that. I haven't included any of the turtlenecks nor the mock neck sweaters and everything in this video. These are the core essentials you would need in terms of the overall stylistic choice and also the practical utility purpose. Not necessarily that you have to go with the same options suggesting in this video. Just I got five budget winter options that can also be essentials. Here is a in-cash denim dark gray color hoodie that I got it in a size of large. I got this at a price point of somewhere around 600 to 700 rupees so what exactly i liked particularly i'm a fan of this darker color of the gray not just the darker color but the shades of the gray not the lightest version of the gray and with this dark charcoal gray it might seem like a lighter version but this is also not the light gray or melancholy what they call as this is a darker version of the gray color or the medium ground somewhere in between so i like the color and i like the thickness of it it do have cotton as well as polyester so it's a medium ground when it comes to the material composition you do get light to moderate warmth i would say mostly for the light winters so in terms of the overall fit it's actually a slim fit that's the reason i sized up from a medium size to large size so i do get somewhere between the medium to the regular fit i don't have any disqualifiers for this particular hoodie except for one they have gone with this white colored drawstrings i don't know why it actually breaks the cleaner look or it disturbs the cleaner look when it comes to this hoodie and a minor thing would be why they need these prints inside the hood. The hood is nice and medium when it comes to the overall size and thickness is also fine but why do they need these prints? They want to make this a little bit more casual option. Of course hoodies themselves are the casual options but why to make them even more with the print and the unnecessary different color drawstrings and this particular drawstrings are not of great quality that is also something you can consider so finding a right quality and right fit sweatshirt is really important because most often than not if you're using this for light winters you are not gonna use any of the top wear so the fit need to be great and also depending on your style how you want to style it that is also something that plays an important part while selecting a sweatshirt yes in this video i already showed a blue this blue is particularly even more darker when it is compared to the denim jacket blue and it goes well really well with the darkers as well as the beige colors and the earth tones that's the reason i picked this particular blue we don't have any black color pieces in this particular video that's the reason i got this darker color and i selected this van user option even though on amazon i found many different options when it comes to sweatshirts somehow Van Husen in specific, uh, I use the t-shirt actually, the Van Husen Athleisure t-shirt since many years and quality held up. So I thought just giving it a try for the sweatshirts and I'm glad I did that. The sweatshirt quality is like really great. Uh, it's a basically a cotton sweatshirt and the feel for this particular t-shirt is very, very smooth. When it comes to the fit, I sized up to large to get that relaxed or regular fit by when it comes to sweatshirt and uh, it check marked that. You don't get too much of a drop down shoulders with this option because it's not a relaxed sweatshirt and that's not meant to do that best part you know the inside of this particular sweatshirt it's very smooth the material they have used and it will not get picked up by the t-shirts or the base layer which you might be using and the minor attention to detail with the branding blending with the same color and also this another subtle details below the collar portions when it comes to sweatshirts the elasticity of the collar as well as the end of the sleeves this plays an important role and uh, these are good enough good enough for the price point i would not say these are like great and they will retain the elasticity after a number of washes but as of now the quality seems great that is it for this video guys i hope you guys found this video useful on the winter wear haul which is on budget and few of them are essentials as well if it did so do let me know in the comment section below what you like the most in this specific haul and what is your essential in specific for the winters be it for light or moderate having said that don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome winter content like this that's it from me see you next time